Hello and welcome back to another video on Serious About Salvage. Another new car and another new car. But anyway, that's for another video. This is today's video. It's a Kia Seed um, 2019 on a 69. It's a very nice car. I like the colour. Colours like this are back in fashion. Very little damage and a bit of a mystery as usual as these cars always are. Let's spin around and have a look. So there we go, a nice Kia Seed. No panel damage down here. Wheels look good. Uh, all the way around the front, again, no signs of any damage. Looking good, there's your 69 plate. Only thing on the front I have noticed, it's a little split in the rubber there, which is annoying. So I'll probably get another rubber for that, because it'll just let this car down. All the way down the side, again, all nice and clean. It's got new tyres practically all the way around. The brakes are keen. Uh, it feels like it's just had, you know, service, brakes, tyres. And a good going over. Um, and basically, this is exactly how it has come to me. Back bumper missing. Rear crash bar missing. Rear tail lights missing. That's as I saw the pictures. Now, believe it or not, this is listed as a category S. All your wheels are in the exact correct place. I mean, you tell me, can you see anything? on the back of this car. Any damage? Because I cannot find anything. I can't find anything. It doesn't, it, it looks like it's just had a bumper and a crash bar removed off it. And that's it. Now usually when the crash bars hit, you'll get a bit of a, just scuff or a mark. Do you know where it's been bolted to the body? Because these bolt from the inside out. So there'll be studs on the crash bar and then you put a knot on the back of it. But there's absolutely nothing to say that this is a Category S. But like I said, it is. It is a Category S. All the bumper brackets are fine. Uh, yeah, it's just a real weird one. There's nothing on the bumper, on the rear boot, should I say. If we open the boot, Grab a torch. We can see the boot floor. And again, I just don't see anything. I just don't see anything at all. There's nothing under there either. So yeah, a real weird one, this one. Uh, right, so this is the only damage, well, this is the reason why it's at salvage, as far as I can tell. It's got the bag of all the fixings there, so obviously, obviously someone has removed these parts for a reason. Locking wheel nut keys in there. Uh, other than all the spare wheel kit, the car is complete, it's got its, it's, got its uh, Parcel shelf. Once it had arrived, I'd look in the back and the tail lights are in the back of the car. Again, no damage to them. Other ones over that side again, no damage to it. Rear plates there. The inside of the car is very clean, very, very clean. Um, practical looks like it's not been sat in the back of here. It really does. Floor mats are perfect. Paint all around the car, no fairness. I know it's dirty, it's going to be more like that colour when it's clean. There's a few little marks, like it's not a new car, it's got a, it's got a bit of a car park ding there. Edge of the door a little bit. So your normal stuff. Uh, but the car is, is really clean, really clean. It is the one litre petrol turbo, this one. A lot of cars these days have now got the one litres in. Um, again, I don't know whose engine this is. 
I presume it's Kia's own. I'll have a sit in. It's got 32,900 miles on it. Now, another strange, strange thing with this car, we've got a key. And we've got another key. So we've got two keys. And the strangest thing of all, it's got a lob book with it. Which never happens. Uh, we have got a service book in here as well. It's got two service stamps in it. It's it's basically, as far as the service book says, it's due a service. Uh, but the, I've checked the oil and the oil's literally as if it's just been put in. Like I said, everything feels fresh in this car. Uh, so let's get a key. Let's get a key. Power's up. Um, all the nav and everything in there works. Uh, uh, there. Everything lights up. Starts up perfect. No lights on the dash. The car is really, really nice. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. Plenty of um, spec in these, because this is only an ISG2. So it's not a GT line, it's not an ISG3, it's it's a middle of the range. But it's got icon, it's got crew, it's got um, cruise control. It does, doesn't it? Where's yeah, cruise control. It's got sat nav. It's got reversing camera. It's got lane assist. It's a nice car. There you go, camera on back. No parking sensors, but it is a nice car. Gives you a little tune as you're leaving as well. So yeah, mystery, yeah. Don't know why it's a Cat S. Is it a previous bumped one? Uh, I don't know. I mean, usually this salvage company puts in the comments if there's any other salvage history on the vehicle. Perhaps it's a partial repair. I don't know. I can only go off what I can see. So going off what I can see, I have got a crash bar and I've got a rear bumper. Believe it or not, these rear bumpers are not easy to get hold of even though this is just a basic ISG, it's not a GT line. Reason being, most tend to have parking sensors on the rear, whereas this one hasn't, so this was quite a, a hard find, especially needing one complete, with the diffuser and the reflectors and the bits of trimming. So this is a good buy. These two pieces, literally, bolt on this car, get it painted, and uh, as long as nothing else crops up, Car's done. Probably one of the easiest ones. We yeah, have new tyres all around, they're all matching, so they've all been replaced. I think, are they all Pirelli as well? Yeah, it's got full sets of Pirellis on it. All brand new, pretty much. Quick look under the engine bay. Because, again, it looks like new under there. And there's no signs that anything's been touched or moved or you know replaced on the front of here everything looks complete the factory and standard all the fittings everything lines up perfect they had light bolts you know there's no marks on where the wing bolts are which is usually a telltale sign if it's been apart or not on both sides i'm 100 sure the front end of this hasn't been touched in any way shape or form and like i said it's a very clean car everything looks good and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing to be concerned about. So basically, all we're going to do right now is bolt on that crash bar. I'm going to pull the diffuser out, pull the reflectors off the rear bumper skin and just fit the bumper skin loose as it is, put the lights back in and it will go off to the paint shop. And uh, when it comes back, we'll put the last few bits together and it needs an MOT and I will pull this though some oil in it just to make sure and it'll be done. So nice little car. So let's get this back end back on 
And uh, this will be just a one, one video, one video, one done job, won't it? And that's it, done. That bumper's obviously only on there loose because they will be taking it off at the body shop. So it's literally just clipped in. Headlights are all in as well. They will have to come back out. So they've just got one bolt in them, both sides. Uh, they should work now, as you see. That'll put side lights on, well, the aisles on. Take a quick look. Yeah, that didn't put the RLs on though, did it? Have a look. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. So that is it. 
clean bumper that it's a shame it's not the right color because that would have just gone straight on there's no damage to it at all uh, so we now need to get this to the paint shop they'll pull the bumper off they'll paint it all they'll fit it back as it is uh, and then we'll come back we'll build it back up like i said mot it service it and job will be a good and great little quick fix anyone could do this on the drive it's a proper simple little fix so very strange why it's cat s but i mean there is no real way of finding out the history um and why they've done this um why it's why it's a cat s i don't know but it is what it is so that's all we can do is a uh, deal with what we can see i mean you can see now all the body lines are absolutely perfect there's nothing to say that's only on loose as well that's got a little fix in to tighten that gap up everything is absolutely perfect it's a very strange one very strange one but it is what it is so we will continue this video when it's back from the paint ah impaled myself on my um so yeah we'll continue this video when it's back from the paint shop and just like that we're back with it in color looks so much better like that chuffed to bits for that it's really good match they have flicked into the wing as well to make sure it matches uh bear in mind obviously the car is very dirty so it'll look different shades as it goes along because of the dirt i've had the uh, wing mirror cap painted on that side had some scratches on it as well and uh, that little bit on the corner here has been dealt with so should be pretty much spot on this car now so we've only got really to just build up this rear bumper again I'm, I'm going to do it in place I don't want to risk taking it off and marking edges and stuff like that um, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly the deflectors reflectors pushing from the outside so that's fine and i'm pretty sure the uh, rear uh, little diffuser did as well so they'll all go on easy enough an extra screw in there an extra screw in that side got some little covers to put on there and then got to fix it permanent up here like there and then just fix in the splash guards simple as that really easy quick repair and this this car drives phenomenally well really really good it's so tight it's no knocks no bangs the brakes are incredible new tires this is a great little car honestly been properly maintained um this it feels like anyway feels real like, like literally feels like it's driven off the showroom floor right i'm gonna fly all this together now we'll give it a quick wash and then we're going to call it a day and, and call it a job done.
And there we are, all done, all clean and tidy, looking great. Beautiful car this, I really like the colour. And it's it's pretty immaculate. I mean, the only one mark to talk about now is that door, door ding there. I might just get a touch up pen and try and touch it up a bit. That is the only mark on the whole car. It's really, really good condition. Really good. Um, yeah, short little sweet video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I mean, if there's a, a competition for best salvage buy, I think this is probably one of them. One of the top ones, such an easy repair. Two keys, log book, new tires. I mean, it couldn't have really gone much better. Well, it couldn't have gone any better, could it really? The history of this car, I mean, it's anyone's guess, like I said, we don't know what's gone on with it. But uh, we've dealt with what we've been given and it's come out absolutely fantastic. Chuff to bits with it. So there we are, one quick video, done and dusted. Uh, the car will go for an MOT and I will do an oil filter, but I'm not gonna bother doing it on camera. And uh, we are done. So thank you as always for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this very, very easy salvage repair. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want. Big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Cheers.